Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the broadcast. Well, in yesterday's report, I revealed that what happened in the country of Israel could very well happen right here in the United States of America, especially considering that we have about 1.7 million unvetted illegal migrants that have come into this country, uh, and the Biden administration doesn't even know where they are. Now, in case you haven't seen it, it's this video right here, and our congressional leaders have also agreed with me on that statement. So try to stay out of the big cities. Well, in today's report, I really want to hone in on how this Hamas attack on Israel is hitting home in the United States of America in multiple ways. Now, one of those ways that it is right now hitting the United States of America is the fact that our oil prices have just skyrocketed, right? Take a look here. And this is on the NewYorkPost.com. Oil prices jump more than $3 per barrel in wake of Hamas attack. It goes on to state this, oil prices jumped more than $3 a barrel in early Asian trade on Monday as dramatic military clashes between Israeli and Hamas forces over the weekend deepened political uncertainty across the Middle East. Brett Crude LCO C1 rose $3.34 or 3.95% to $87.92 a barrel, while U.S. West Texas Texas Intermediate Crude CLC1 was at $86.23 a barrel, a 3.44 cent dollar or 4.1 cent increase. Now there's predictions that it's even going to go higher than that. In fact, take a look at this. This is uh, on Morning with Maria, but here's what it states. Oil will go back to $100 a barrel within the next few months. TJM Industrial Services Director James Ingorio joins Morning with Maria on oil prices after the attacks on Israel. So they're predicting about $100 per barrel. In fact, Zero Hedge, an article on there goes even higher. And here it is. Oil could spark well north of $150. Here are the main implications for oil from the Israeli war. So many predictions out there that this is really going to be striking our pocketbooks. Now, that's one way that are, that these Hamas attacks have already hit home in the United States of America. And the bad, the really sickening and disturbing truth is, is Biden has already used up a majority of our reserves, right? Our petroleum reserves that were supposed to be for times such as this, they're basically just crap. All right, here we have Daily Caller. Biden's choice to drain key oil reserves leaves the U.S. more vulnerable to rising risk of war, experts warn. And that was an article, by the way, published uh, uh, on October 10th. But surprisingly, this is exactly where we look to be going because we don't have any backups, we don't have any reserves, and now we're going to have super high prices. That is one of the ways in which these Hamas attacks, and as horrible as they were, I'm continuing praying for the Israeli, the victims, and everybody in that. I'm constantly praying uh, for, for them in that. But either way, these really hit home and it's going to hurt. The second way in which it hit home, I discussed in detail on restrictedrepublic.com. If you're not there, you have to get there. Uh, a lot of what I stated in this is for that audience only because we're limited uh, here on YouTube. But right now, I'm going to run a 48-hour special, 48 hours only. This isn't really going to make us much money, so to speak, but you can get the entire, you can get $40 per year. That's less than $3.33 per month. That's super cheap. And I, and I know finances are tight, but $3.33 per month, if you buy the annual subscription, $40 per year, use the coupon code FOREVER40. You have to get there. They are about to clamp down on us so hard. So please get there before it's too late. But uh, I kind of get into the second one there on Restricted Republic. But a third one, which I already talked about in yesterday's report, is the fact that they could potentially already have Hamas terrorists, Hezbollah terrorists, or any kind of terrorists uh, from the Middle East over here in the United States already ready to pounce on us, which I did that report yesterday. So that's the third way. Now, the fourth way, and this is chilling to the very core, is now we have organizations such as 
Black Lives Matter, an organization which I have been warning against since their formation. Uh, their leaders have admitted to be Marxist, uh, and, and, and that is their theology. And this is exactly what they're standing in line on, because now they have just revealed their support for literal Hamas terrorists. Now, that said, everybody who donated to this organization should regret it to the very core. But here it is. Uh, Breitbart News, I want to start there. Black Lives Matter organization shows support for Hamas amid terror attack on Israel. Now, let's go directly to some of their Twitter pages so you can see. And here we are. Black Lives Matter Chicago. They literally tweeted this crap supporting savages who brutally killed, murdered, and raped women, children, cutting off the heads of babies. And here they have a parachuter, right? Which we know uh, the Hamas parachuted into that rave or dance party killing young women and children and men. And they're going to say, I stand with Palestine. In other words, BLM Chicago is standing with the terrorist who literally killed women and children and slaughtered them, innocent people. Oh, by the way, they deleted that tweet, so that is now a screenshot. Hey, but it's not just BLM there in Chicago. It's also Black Lives Matter, their grassroots uh, organization. Here is their grassroots grassroot BLM, Black Lives Matter grassroots. We stand in solidarity with people of Palestine. And again, this comes on the heels of mass slaughter of Israel and Israelis. This is not the time to be putting this out. But anyway, here's what they state in it. As the world is faced with deep questions about self-determination as well as desire to pray for world peace, we must stand unwaveringly on the side of the oppressed. When a people have been subject to decades of apartheid and unimaginable violence, their resistance must not be condemned, but understood as a desperate act of self-defense? Really? Really? In other words, we're not going to condemn what happened. That's how I read it. Then we also have BLM Los Angeles, and here's they're all, oh, we're going to stand in solidarity with all of this and, uh, and apartheid and all that stuff from Israel. I'm just, there you have it. You, anyone who donated to BLM should be ashamed. And I've warned everyone. I know none of you guys did, uh, except for some liberals listening out there, which they do. But anyway, and I get messages from them, but I hope they're really listening because I hope they regret donating to these organizations that had known Marxist roots. It's not about whether you support Black Lives Matter. I support black people 100%, 100%. I support white, black, yellow, red, whatever color of skin you have. I don't care. Whatever religion you are, I don't care either. I support it all, right? That doesn't matter. This is a radical organization and that is at the heart of it. But look, you want to support the Palestinians, whatever, you have a right to do that. And if you want to support Israel, you have a right to do that. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm for freedom, right? And, and, and then the thing is, it is, it is not the time or the place, especially when the people of Israel have just gone through such atrocities. And yeah, personally, um, I think, you know, Israel has a right to go back after in retaliatory measures after what happened. That's like telling us, hey, when 9-11 happened, you can't uh, do anything in return. I'm, what? It's just, it's not the same. I mean, there's some sick people in the world on that side right now saying that is somehow justified, the death of people. I mean, go to hell. It's really all I have to say to you. Anyhow, um, I know it's a touchy subject. It's one of those things. I never vouch for the death of anyone. I don't care if I hate you. Right. I, I don't care if I hate you with a passion like some of these globalists out there, but I never wish death or violence on anyone. You know, I wish we didn't have war, but unfortunately, it's an unfortunate it's unfortunate thing that happens in society. Anyhow, with that, check out my partner. Please don't forget to do that. Uh, go to lisahavengold.com. Look, if you are not financially secure, they can absolutely help you get into that financial situation. And you're going to want to do that in light of everything going on with this Obama administration. You're going to want to diversify that profile. You're going to want to have gold, silver, precious metals on hand. And I say that at the very heart, yes, they are my sponsor, but I sponsored with them because I absolutely wholeheartedly believe in them. Uh, and you have to start getting 
out of the dollar, so to speak, in, in, in some way, shape, or form. And you can call these people and they will talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. They are not hassle at all. But let them know you heard it on Lisa Haven and talk about how you can get a 401k or a Roth IRA or an IRA backed by gold, silver. And they even ship gold and silver to your home, which is amazing, right? So you have that as well. Uh, but if you're looking for financial mastery and, and just getting on the right path, these people can help help you. But fill out this information, click get it now, and they'll send you this ultimate gold and silver investment guide for free at no charge. And by the way, um, they are giving away this five ounce America the Beautiful Coin with any approved plan right now. Uh, so make sure you bring that up as well. Anyhow, I love all of you. Thanks for listening to me to me today. I know it's a it's a very hard and, and, and touchy sub subject, but I'm Lisa Haven signing out.